Well, I've got a doozy for you guys. So to continue on from where I left off the other day when I was showing you guys you know, the video basically wondering if Lily Albert 2 is the same as this monkey on this new channel called Poor Baby Monkeys. I do try to read a lot of the comments and I take a lot of what you guys tell me into consideration. Now, I have to be honest, I really wasn't sure. I keep going back and forth whether I think it's Lily 2 or it's not. I can't really tell and that's why I kind of left my opinion off the last video because I really didn't want to influence you guys. I just put the pictures up and said, you know, you guys decide for yourself. But as I was reading the comments and I was trying to see what you guys thought, which it's pretty split down the middle, uh, I noticed there was a lot of comments of people saying that the new monkey was dropped off or abandoned rather at the temple. And so they were saying that the person that had dropped off this new monkey kind of looked like the guy who was supposedly Tulu's owner or Saki or something like that. And so, of course, with that said, I went back and I started looking through Sakura's videos and I actually found the real video with the footage. I don't know if he put it back up or what. And I started doing comparisons. And what I found, I, I just can't believe it. So let me just show you guys. Okay, so it would probably be smart if I start off with the footage of the monkey being abandoned at the temple, the Anger Wat temple. Oh my God. Okay, so there's so much we could say here. Well, for starters, why does the baby have this little blue thing tied around its neck? That's just weird. But that's totally besides the point. Cambodia is a weird place, apparently. Apparently, you know, people just drop animals off and they film each other and nobody says anything. I mean, for shit sakes, this guy just looked right up at the camera while he's being filmed and still went about his business dropping the monkey off like right next to the side of the road where everybody could see him. I mean, come on, if this doesn't scream set up, I don't know what does. But believe it or not, that's not even what I want to concentrate on. So let's go back a couple of steps here because this is where my little investigation started. So I see the guy walking up and I'm looking around and I notice he has a white moped. I take note of that. I notice he looks at the camera and then I look at his hat and I think to myself, hmm, that hat kind of looks familiar. Kind of looks like the hat that Tulu's owner was wearing when he kidnapped Tulu. Let me go to Sakura's channel and look at that video. So I go there and I look and while the hat looks very similar, I don't think it's the same exact hat. I mean, if we take his hat and compare it, I don't think they're the same. The one has a black band, the other one doesn't. So I don't think they're the same hat. So forget that idea. I guess it's time to concentrate on the moped. So I think back to this video around the time where Tulu was kidnapped and I remember that Sakura had this video that he was fixing a motorbike or something. So I go back to that and video. I'm looking all over the place, looking in the background. I see this black bike that he's working on and here he is playing with Mona and I'm watching and all of the sudden, wait, 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 wait. I see this white moped in the background. So I start going all over and looking for a pretty clear shot of it, which I get here in just a second. So with that, I kind of stitched together this picture of it. And then I went back to the other video. I put the one video on top of it. I won't get into all the logistics, but I made a comparison and you guys could see. I mean, they certainly look very similar. They both have that little logo over the rear wheel well in the back. The seats also look really similar in the front. I mean, these bikes are almost identical. They're very similar, but they also have some differences, so it's hard to tell. So I went to another video. 
And now this video was shot on the same day as the other video and it's a donut running on the motorcycle and there you go. So I took that bike and I did the same exact thing that I did with the other bike. I put it side by side and they look pretty much alike, but I'll let you guys be the judge on that one. Here's the part that was really, really interesting. I noticed there was a helmet on top of this bike and I thought to myself, hmm, Look at those orange lines on the helmet and that orange triangle on the front. That looks awfully familiar, and I can't believe I didn't notice this months ago. So check this out. Remember when Tulu's ex-owner came to get him and he and Sakura had this crazy fight in the driveway? Well, look at his head. Yep, that's right. He's wearing a white helmet with an orange stripe at the bottom and the orange triangle in the front. Hmm. That's weird. Looks exactly like the one that was sitting on whoever's bike that was at Sakura's house that day. And you'll see here in a second that it's the exact same helmet. I mean, there's no arguing that. It's a pretty unique helmet. And so with that said, this definitively proves that the whole Tulu thing was a complete hoax. And whoever Tulu's old owner was, they're also friends with Sakura because this video that I got the helmet from. It was filmed on a completely different day than the video when Tulu's owner came. So obviously Tulu's owner and this person is the same person. Now whether it's Saki or this other guy that appeared in his video that day, I don't know, but it's clearly somebody that he knows. And so the whole Tulu being kidnapped thing was clearly bullshit as was that lame-ass fight. So, of course, that begs the question, now, if Sakura would do something like this, would he be capable of setting up, dropping off this monkey at the temple? I mean, I don't know anything is possible at this point. And again, I leave it up to you guys to decide. I definitely don't believe it's a coincidence that all this happened. Now, if we look at Lee Lee Jr.'s age in the last videos that we left off of him on Sakura's channel, he he seemed very young and the monkey on the new channel seems a little older but that would make sense given the fact that any videos that the core has of Lily Albert 2 are at least three months old how do we know this because Lily was in videos with the kitten and the kitten first appeared on Sakura's channel back in September. And it seemingly hasn't aged but a week from then until now. So it would make perfect sense that Lili, too, has aged a few months. Now, I want to read an interesting comment that I found on Sakura's page yesterday pertaining to Lili, too, and his whereabouts. This comment was written by a subscriber. They wrote, Lili, too, is most likely dead. There is no way that monkey is in America given the difficulty and cost of importing wildlife, especially with the COVID-19 lockdowns. And of course, the core replies, Dear Brent, I don't normally reply to haters and negative viewers, but I want to help you out of naivety. Who told you that Lili Jr. are in the U.S. now? Nonsense. No proof. Be known now that that kind American couple I mentioned have been living here for years so far. And they are living here. <laughs> okay. Stop being brainwashed by those brainless. Try to create a cognitive sense of education by yourself. Don't let anybody fool you while they don't live next to me at all. Last reply for you being too naive. And that's it. So... Okay, so Lili's living with this couple that lives in Cambodia. How did I know he was going to say that? Hmm, weird. After I made my video, that was his explanation. So not only is this weird, but I also found some strange replies on the other channel when people commented saying that that monkey was Lili Jr. They wrote things like, He is different, Lili. Teeny is an abandoned monkey, not Lili. May you confused. Now, I do realize that there is a little bit of a language barrier here, but he seemed to only be replying to comments about Lily. This person writes, Lily 2 slash Teeny had many followers on Sakura's channel when he killed his first Lily. He killed his channel and tried using Teeny to replace Lily. You know all this, I'm sure. But either way, many people will watch Teeny as long as you're nice. And the channel writes back, I will if I have a chance. And this person says, ask Sakura how he used to diaper him. He's a monkey diaper pro. To which poor baby monkey replies, thank you for telling me. I will learn by watch his videos. And this one made me laugh. This is clearly a 
uh, troll account of Daddy's the Core, and they wrote, everything is staged up. If it's Lily Albert 2, piece of shit, the Core will have a video in a couple of days how those Americans that he sold them the rat released Lily Albert 2, etc. Poor Baby Monkeys replies, Daddy Sakura, everything you knew already, so I hope you become my friend soon because I don't want to waste our time to blame each other. That is the best we need to do. I hope you know and kindly as me did to you. Hmm? What? Then there was this one. Nicely staged. I bet you knew the person that dumped that rat, and I hate when people call them rats. Poor Baby Monkeys replies, how can we know? Well... (laughs) <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of ways you could know. This person writes, could this be Lily too from the other channel? Poor baby monkey replies, sorry, it is not. This person writes, when the lady held out her hand, palm up like Lily Jr.'s ex-owner did, and he went directly to her, just as Lily did. It looks so much like Lily. Can it be him? He disappeared just a day beforehand. He's better off with this lady, and man, they care for him without abuse. Poor Baby Monkeys replies, You are right about we are carrying Teeny without abuse, but you have mistake thinking Teeny is Lily. And now I just read these because I found it was very strange that this person was really only answering any comments that had anything to do with Lily and they were denying it. Now, could this all just be a coincidence and could this person be telling the truth that, you know, they don't know who abandoned this baby and that it's not Lily? Sure. But once again, I leave it up to you guys to decide. So with that said, I'm going to end this one.